Shalom again, and the story for today. A guy tells his friend, I'm sure I can upset Hillel. Hillel was one of the most famous rabbis who used to live a few hundred years ago. He was the calmest and kindest person around. No one could get him upset. And this person tells his friend, I'm sure I could get Hillel upset. His friend says, no way, you're not going to manage. He says, okay. If I manage to get Hillel upset, will you pay me 200 rands? He says, okay, I'll pay you. Deal. This guy knocks on Hillel's door right before Shabbat. He knocks, knock, 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 knock. Hillel was in the shower getting ready for Shabbat. He said, if someone's knocking on my door, maybe it's an emergency. Maybe someone needs me. So he quickly puts on a robe and he goes down. He opens the door and he says, my dearest friend, how can I help you? This person was thinking to himself, how can I ask Hillel the most ridiculous questions I can't find? Just to upset him. He says, Hillel, yes. how come some people have eyes which are like um, thinner and eyes which are like thicker? And Hillel, instead of saying, ah, what a ridiculous question you're asking me in such a um, pressured time, he says, my dearest friend, that's such a great question. Well, let me tell you. It's because Hashem has mercy and all people. And some people live in countries where there's a lot of sand. And Hashem has so much mercy on them that instead of them suffering from the sand always going in their eyes, He made their eyes in a different shape so that the sand won't bother them as much. Do you understand, my dearest friend? And He says, okay, and He walks away. And after a few minutes, Hillel goes back into the shower and He comes knocking again, knock, knock, knock. He's thinking of another ridiculous question to ask Hillel. So Hillel opens the door and says, Yes, my dearest friend, what can I ha- how can I help you again? And this person says, Well, how come some people are like very tall and some people are like very short and like different sizes? So Hillel says, My dearest friend, it's because some people grow up from different parents and each parent has their genes, the things that they pass on to their kids. And that's why some kids grow up taller, some, some kids grow up shorter. That's how it is. He says, Ah, okay. And he walks out, and he goes back to the shower. And he comes, of course, knocking again, with another ridiculous question. And he knocks, knock, knock, knock. And he keeps on asking Hillel more and more ridiculous questions. And Hillel keeps on being calm and kind. Until finally, this person says, Hillel, are you Hillel? He says, what do you mean am I Hillel? He says, well, you're the rabbi Hillel, right? He says, yes, I'm Hillel, and I'm also a rabbi. He says, well... I wish no one would be like you in the world. Hillel says, why my dearest friend? He says, because I had a bet with my friend. If I could get you upset, he's going to pay me 200 rand. And now I lost 200 rand. Hillel says, my dearest friend, you should lose all the money in the world and not see me upset. And not get upset. Because our emotions are so important for us to keep ourselves calm, to keep ourselves kind. It's more important than the money and than the bet you had with your friend. Because if you want to be a good person and that's what's important in life, then you must keep yourself calm, be kind. And that's much more important than the money you're going to get. And that's a lesson for us kids. Always be humble. Hillel was a big rabbi, but he didn't want to be called Rabbi Hillel. Just Hillel, because he was humble and he was kind. And even when people try to irritate him and knock on his door and ask him ridiculous questions when it's so close to Shabbat, he would still stay calm and kind. And it's important for us to learn as well. I wish us all to always be so kind and calm. Shabbat Shalom.